In a week when she admitted she has struggled with the attention, the cameras were out for Meghan. She was, at least among friends, attending the One World Youth Summit, an event she supported long before she married Harry. Ella Robertson has worked with her and thinks that she is staying true to herself by talking about how she's been treated by the press. At One Young World, she has always been immensely professional, but also very authentic. And I think if you are an authentic person who's true to yourself, that's not going to change whatever role that you're in. But I loved seeing her on the ground with all these projects that are clearly very dear to her. You do wonder what the Queen thinks about it all. Meghan may have wanted this evening to be about these young leaders. But her decision to tell a documentary about how difficult life has been and Prince Harry confirming the rumours of a rift with Prince William has provided ample material for a tabloid press they feel is making their life a misery. Being in the spotlight may be difficult, but you also get the sense that Harry and Meghan are trying to make the most of the fact that they are currently the royal family's most talked about couple. And that's why we're seeing this constant stream of engagements and outings promoting the causes that matter to them. But the focus keeps being drawn away. The latest twist coming from a source close to the couple telling an American TV network that Harry and Meghan have single-handedly modernised the monarchy. Quite some statement for a couple who've only been married 18 months, and one that is unlikely to do anything to settle down this family drama. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News, in central London.